Good morning, New Testament growers all over the world. Yes, we are back at the crack garden with the bonus video for you all out here. All right, so let's jump right into it. We are talking about this preventative that we keep on hand all the time at the crack garden. And um, it's one of our strength to why we, you know, keep pests and mildew and all type of other stuff under control this stuff is called NorCal 86 mites and mold prevention and treatment and I must say I've been using this stuff now for well over a year might be longer I know I was one of the first to start purchasing it when it hit the shelves in the grocery store because at the time I was battling coming off of a case of russet mites and um, I was really going through it trying to get rid of those and uh, the gentleman at the store he told me it was a new product out and it's it's supposed to treat a ton of things and I gave it a try I loved it the, the first day I used it what was um, what I really liked about it was I sprayed it with the lights on didn't burn the leaves Plants were close to the lights, you know, and um, it got me through that harvest. But eventually I ended up just destroying all the plants that I had been treating. They didn't look, you know, they. I just wasn't, you know, I just didn't want to continue to just try and keep those things, you know, alive. I, I, I lost some good strands, but I mean, you know, as a grower, that, stuff like that happens. But this stuff did get me through that harvest. And um, I think it gave me the best results that I could have gotten, you know, for what I was dealing with. But um, now we keep it on hand, and uh, I've never had an issue with anything since. A buddy of mine had an issue in his grow with powdery mildew. He used it, and he said it got him through, and then it actually started treating the powder mildew, where now his garden is free of it, you know, um... He used it in harvest as well. He used it, he say, all the way up until a week before harvest. And uh, he said the results were, were good. It doesn't have a bad smell to it. None of, no harsh smell. doesn't make you gag. You know, it actually smells pretty good. But um, I'm going to just go into this here little booklet they give you with it. And, uh, yeah, it's prevent as well as treat spider mites. Powder, powdery mildew as you can see they have a before and after pick I don't know if that's really clear for you all to see but he said it, it worked well a few of the other things that it treat as you can see you see right there the russet mites it was very very helpful for me here with the russet mites I mean those things are tough you can't see them it's, they're tough um, I believe you can get this in the concentrate bottle as well. Okay, yeah, here we go right here. It is available uh, in the concentrate bottle. You can just kind of mix it yourself and, you know, probably get a little more for your buck. But I usually just get the ready to use. I'm a, I, I'd rather not mix it. I just pick up the ready to use, you know. It's their stuff. They know how to mix it. I trust them. It's been helpful. As you can see, I got it in a 32-ounce spray bottle, you know, and I just buy the gallon now. And uh, it's good stuff. Give it a try. Um, stop at your local grow shop. Pick some up if you're having any issues. If you want to prevent issues, I usually just spray my plants with it right after I transplant them from clones in cups to their smart pots I'll spray around the soil I'll spray the tents the walls of the tents the floor of the tents the trays I just kind of like just spray all around one time and um, that usually does the trick so um, you might want to give this a try NorCal 86 mites and mold subscribe to the channel hit the like button and uh, yeah, this was just a quick bonus for you guys. If you're having any issues, powdery mildew, it treats a lot of other stuff. You'll see it when you um, search it 
But yeah, this stuff is gold. It's a must-have in your garden. Again, we are at the Crack Garden. Subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys on the next video update. Maybe something else. Peace.